This video will demonstrate a procedure to separate molecules in a mixture using the properties of polarity. You will be using a solution of limonene and eugenol in ether. To begin, put 5 milliliters of the solution into a clean, dry, 15 milliliter centrifuge tube. Use the graduations on the tube to measure your amount. Next, add 5 milliliters of 3 molar sodium hydroxide. Cap the tube tightly and begin shaking for about one minute. Stop shaking occasionally and carefully remove the cap to release any pressure that may build up. Place the centrifuge tube in a beaker and allow the layers to separate. Use a transfer pipette to carefully remove the lower aqueous layer which contains the conjugate base of the eugenol. Transfer this liquid to a 50 milliliter beaker. Use the blowdown station to remove any remaining ether. Notice that stirring and heat are not needed. The air alone will remove the ether. While your solution is on the blowdown station, measure out 2 milliliters of 6 molar hydrochloric acid into a graduated cylinder and take it to your bench. Remove your solution from the blowdown station and back at your bench, add a stir bar, begin stirring and then slowly and carefully, drops at a time, add the hydrochloric acid. You will see an oily precipitate of eugenol form. Pour that solution into another clean, dry, 15 mil centrifuge tube. Place it in a beaker and allow the layers to separate. While the layers are separating, pre-weigh a clean 4 gram vial and record the weight in your lab manual. Once the solution is separated, carefully remove the top layer, which is the eugenol, and place it in your vial. Weigh the vial containing the eugenol and record the mass. In order to remove any remaining water, add a small spatula tip full of sodium sulfate. Be sure to label the vial as eugenol. This is your product, which you will further analyze. Going back to your original centrifuge tube, which contains the limonene, add a spatula tip full of sodium sulfate. Cap and shake vigorously to remove any water. Allow the sodium sulfate to separate from the liquid and then pipette the liquid into a 50 milliliter beaker. Use the blowdown station again to remove any remaining ether. A residue of limonene will remain. Pre-weigh another 4 gram vial and record the weight. Pipette the limonene from the beaker into the vial. Weigh it and record the mass. Label the vial as limonene. Analyze both your products as directed by your instructor. Good luck and thanks for watching.